So, do you guys want to know who the winner is? Yeah, yeah I mean, just do. go ahead and tell me. All right, the winner is. I'm Ruby and this is Swatched. Today we have two contestants, Carly and Carlos. So let's hear about our contestants. And then let's get started. Hey guys, I'm Carly. I've got 16 years of experience and I'm gonna teasy light, tone, and tip out my way to success today. What's up, Swatchers? I'm Carlos and I know Carly's sick of living in my root shadow but I'm about to root smudge her out so hard, she's gonna want to root tap out. Now it's time to open our boxes. Okay. Um, Go right ahead. Got the, the Agora Vibrance clear. Always a go-to, that's great. Okay, I'm excited about that one. The new 713, I can use that. I can use that for something. Harbor Clinics, okay, love. Good spray conditioner, sealed ends. I actually really wanted this one, so I'm really glad it's in there. Oh, 6.23, okay. The new, the new cool color, vibrance. Okay, I can yeah. use that, I can use that. I got the 4-33. That's gonna be, that's gonna be tough. But you know what? I got this, I got this. Carly? 4 33. I'm going to be using that. Don't worry. 9 12. So good for blonding. Definitely going to need that one. Fiber Clinics Vibrancy Conditioner. I think. Oh, this was in here. Vibrancy Heat Protect Mist. 631 Agora Royale. Okay, I'll find a way for that. Skin Protect. Keep her face clean. I like it. My box is the best. Sorry. So the contestants must use every item that was placed in their box, but they will have access to our full salon. So let's get our models. My model, Crystal, was not only beautiful with great hair, but she is a great person as well. I am going to just keep her really cool tone, brighten her up a bunch, but I also want to make sure that I focus on giving her a really lived in and really low maintenance look. She's a low maintenance gal and she does not want to have to come back for tons of highlights or a lot of base touch-ups or anything like that. I have the most incredible model. Her name is Grace. She has piercing blue eyes. Those blue eyes that you think, is that the ocean water of a beautiful Greek island? No, it's just her eyeballs. But listen, I think she would make the most incredible brunette and she's really gonna be the reason I win. So I'm gonna start by doing teasy lights on her hair. I'm gonna use Vario Blonde Super Plus and I'm gonna start with 10 volume. I like that mix in a one to 1.5 ratio. What I used are the amazing new cool shades, 6-32 in Vibrance with 6-0 as a beautiful low light. I'm gonna do foils all over her head. I'm gonna start around the face and do the face frame first. Then I'm gonna work up the sides of her head doing diagonal back sections. In the back, I'm gonna do a herringbone placement to cover a lot of ground without having to do tons of foils. After that, I'm gonna go in and create a mid light. And for that, I'm gonna use Agora Royale 6-31 and I'm gonna use that with 30 volume. So that gets mixed in a one-to-one -one ratio, super easy. But what I love about this color is that you can lift a dark base. She's about a natural level four. I can lift her to around a level six and it is not super flaming hot red orange. It's a really nice cool tone, which is why these cool tone colors are so amazing. 
but I didn't stop there. What I did is wanted to drop it even more and I used 6-32 with 4-0 and that really took it to the next level. But I wasn't done yet. What I wanted to do is give her a beautiful mid light, not a low light, not a high light, but a mid light, just to give her a little bit of softness. But why use a neutral when I can use a 7-13 with 30 volume? Yep, you heard that right, 7-13. After I rinsed out those highlights and mid lights, I went ahead and root melted her with 4-33 and 5-0 in Agora Vibrance with six volume lotion developer. I used three parts 5-0 to one part 4-33. The reason I only used a little bit of that 4-33 is because it is dark and it can take over your formula quickly because it does have those cool tones in it. But it is so ideal for situations like this where you have a super dark natural level and you have to lift them and there's still a little bit of warmth living at that band at the top of the TZ light. Then I did a beautiful root smudge with, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm the wild card, you know what I mean? 4-33 with a little bit of 5-0, I went deep jade. After I did that root melt, while that was still on and processing, I then glossed her all over on her mids and ends. And for that, I used Agora Vibrance 9-12, and I used 10-5 with six volume gel developer. Those were equal parts, so I wanted a little bit of warmth to balance out the cool in there to make sure it stayed really bright and poppy. I did not want that blonde to feel dark, dull, or just blah all over. So I wanted to make sure I kept it bright, so I needed that 10-5 in there. After that, we shampooed with Fiber Clinic's Vibrancy Shampoo and Conditioner, and then I finished up with the Hydrate Spray Conditioner, the Vibrancy Leave-In Conditioner, and then of course I put in the Vibrancy Heat Protectant Spray, which will really keep her hair safe when I'm blow drying and heat styling. What really threw me for a loop in my box was that Skin Protect. I haven't used that before, and I really wanted to be able to incorporate that and make it work for my service. So I added the Skin Protect around her hairline right before I put that root melt on to make sure that nothing stained her skin. That stuff is awesome, it smells so good, and I highly recommend it, and now I'm gonna add it into all my services. Then we did a nice blowout, we smoothed it out, and I added some nice beachy waves for a really cool toned, all over blonder look. I can't let her win. I can't. When they look crazy, that means you're done. She looks crazy. 4-0623. Then we have the 6-23 with 6-0, both of those vibrance. Then we did the mid light with 7-13 and 30 volume. <sighs> Feeling good. I give you the really expensive brunette. And then I went rogue. Notice the beard. Notice the sideburns. Notice the Malay. The Malay has been gray blended. 4-33 with a kiss of 1-0 because I'm sexy. All right, you guys, our competition's coming to a close. We saw Carlos darken his model with the new cool tones, and we saw Carly brighten and tone her model with the new cool shades. So let's hear what the judges have to say. I'd say I'm kind of in towards Carly's because she really had the cool toned blonde. I was nervous during that judging. You know what? Carlos put up a great fight. He did a great color and when he threw in that 433 on his beard, I was really nervous because that was creative. 
I mean, Carly gave me a dollar, but I gotta go Carlos. So they're about to announce the winner and I know I had some kind of uh, questions. Maybe they were going for Carly, but there is no way that the judges are not going to give me this one. There is no way. She looks incredible. I, I can't wait to hear the results. The judges thought that Carlos's look was super cool. It brought out her eyes, definitely, but he did make a really big mess of his apron. Just saying. And then Carly's look, also super cool, super light, brought the smoke out, but she did try to bribe the judges, which we don't know if it worked in her favor or not yet, let's be honest. So, do you guys wanna know who the winner is? Yeah, yeah I mean, just go ahead and tell me. All right, the winner is. Carly! <laughs> There is no way she looks incredible. I I'm team Carly. Her blonde was beautiful. It was cool. There was no damage. She looked incredible. Carlos's okay. was amazing. Okay. It's such a tough one, but I yeah. Carly's edging it out. Carlos's was a little more striking to me, but I'll go with the judges. I knew it the whole time. They gave it to freaking Carly, the freaking Chronicles. You guys, I won. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to share this with everybody. I cannot believe I won. I just, I put so much into that. Like that was just, this was so special for me. And I'm just gonna use this in my future endeavors and just brag about this a lot, to be honest, because I can't believe that I won. So the competition was exactly how I pictured it. I was gonna be in my zone and incredible, and Carly was gonna try to derail me the whole time. And that's exactly what she did. She stole my clear. And my scissors. I needed a little bit of clear in my formula, okay? So what was I to do? I didn't wanna run all the way to the salon pantry, so I grabbed Carlos's. Carlos came by and stole my bleach multiple times. He just swiped it off my station, and when I needed it for my foil, it was not there. And I did not appreciate that. Okay, I stole her bleach. I know, I forgot my shears. I meant to pack them with me, but I didn't bring them. It's so embarrassing. So I needed to use Carlos's. So I just snuck around really low where he couldn't see me, grabbed him. I did a couple cuts, no big deal. Nobody was harmed in this process. He way overreacted. But you know what? There's a rumor out there that she didn't even bring a comb. Who doesn't bring a comb to a hair competition? Apparently, the Chronicles. I'm talking to you, Carly. I need you back here for a rematch. I just hope that I get invited back for a Swashed All Stars. I would love the chance to compete against other influencers. Maybe bring Carlos back, have a rematch. Me and you, round two, and I pick the judges this time. I have to change my Instagram bio. Oh my God, I need to change it now. It can say, winner of Swatched. That's pretty cool. I gotta come back, man. I gotta come back to All Stars. Got something to prove. Please. Please invite me back, guys. Please, I'd love to be here again. All right, that's a wrap. See you next time on Swatched. Is there a manager I can talk to about this? No.